Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Max Roy and today I will be commentating alongside Name Doesn't Fit. Yowza. We will be commentating the Vexio Files versus Fifty Shades of Blue Ball Miners. Uh, this is week three and uh, the game will be on Gamepad. So uh, pretty much we are going to see a pretty big matchup I think offensively here on uh, Dopeseo versus New Friend. I think that's going to be a pretty big matchup. Who's your uh, matchup of the day here, uh, name it as a fit? Um, my matchup for the day is going to be um, Vinsanity and Arcane. Yeah, I think, yeah, that should be a good one. Vinsanity, obviously, being a really strong offender um, with quite high, uh, like, a lot of degrees pub-wise, and uh, Arcane being really strong last season. I haven't actually seen that much of him this season, but if, any, if history is anything to go by, he should be really strong. So, we're just about to get ready, we're about to get in. Uh, before we start, who are you giving it to? Who do you reckon is going to win this one, Name? And what's your predicted scoreline? I'm giving it to 50 Shades for 7-3. to three. Um, I'm going to go to 50 Shades as well. I think Dope Say is really, really strong. Um, so is Arcane. And I'm going to go a bit closer scoreline. I reckon 6-2. to two. Well, not closer, but less caps. Yeah, I, I think 6-2 is where it's going to be. Sounds like a good margin. With the game about to go underway, we find Rolling Bombs on both Yeah, Rolling Bombs on both sides. Should be interesting. It looks like Strange Cloud has got a pretty good boost lined up for that Rolling Bomb on the top side, and Parker may be Three, able to snipe Dope Sayo two, into it. Tism seems to be pretty far behind that boost, so we'll see what happens here. Strange Bottom Cloud messing up the Sayo. boost. Strange Cloud really. Okay, so we got Dope Sayo here. He's probably going to try to get in with this Rolling Bomb. He uses it not that effectively. However, Parker does hit that boost. We'll see if we can get a good grab here. A um, couple of Flaccids. It's yeah, to be first, expected. First grab of the game of Flaccid. We see Dope, dope Sayo doesn't get out of. Yeah, Parker's got that regrab though. New friend has got him lined up on the snipe. Dope Sayo gets the return. Speaking of which, Dope Sayo, really a bit of a hero story, came from Hacksball, introduced to the game, and turned out to just be a superstar, messing up everyone in scrim. No one really expected him to go so well. But as you can see, he's he's really quite good. He's transferring those Hacksball skills well. Yeah. With the flag now. Dope Sayo is 10th on the Hoog leaderboards for offense. With three. Yeah, we could see him going for a um, pretty strong like chance at the Miners Award, because he has been playing really well. The pups are up, no one seems to have noticed it though, as everyone's more focused on the flag. There's a Duke just top and a Rolling Bomb bottom, both grabbed by the Vexilla Hmm. Strange Cloud running away, Tism however does have that Duke Juice, he should be able to run him down. No, Strange Cloud pulls off a pretty good run away there. However, he's got lots he of them on his tail. Ahead of Turth. Only the one on Rego. And we've got Jake running. What are, what are your opinions on uh, Jake? Because, like, he always seems to do solidly, but never, like, any standout performances. Like, he's just pretty consistently. He's pretty consistently good. Yeah. I think that he brings a lot to the table with his juke. But, um, if he could get a really big game, I think that could really bring him on to the next level. Yeah. There, um, I feel like there are a lot of those players that are just kind of like hanging around that really need a huge game to just kind of show them off that are, that are really good players like Jake. I also think Park is one of them. Like I think he's really, really good, but he's just like he hasn't had like a huge game. Like he's had a couple of big ones, but like he hasn't really gone off. As yeah, we see Strange Cloud, he could be in trouble here. Dope say with the flag top, he boosts past Jake, misses out unfortunately. Oh, this, could be, this could be yeah. a cap for Dope Sayo. Oh, this is a cap for Dope Sayo. <laughs> His fourth of the season. Parker boosts up top. He should beat Tism. Can he beat the rest of them? Yeah, he's Just going bottom them. side. Bomb does Boosting nothing really. Defense, 
They say he gets it at the other end. We'll see where he goes here. Chooses to go through the nowhere, really. Just waiting for Parker to get that regrab. Oh, well, he's great a nice boost. boost. He is possibly ahead of three. This is possibly. Oh, nice evade the boost, but he gets. Yeah, Tism coming in pretty strong there. However, Parker is away. Tism should get him again. He does. Good prediction there by Tism. Great pair up times by um, Vexilla Fails. Yeah. I think this is one of those maps where practice really does a lot, especially for players like Dope Sayer who haven't played on this map when it was like, like when it uh, was a bit earlier. Like no players, vision. yeah, yeah, like players like such as uh, Insanity, myself, I think you as well when it was in rotation. Yep. As well. Uh, as we speak, it a return here could be a cat. Jake gets Not thrown away by Parker. Can he stay alive? He does! Good job there by Parker. New friend, however. New too. Speaking of new friend... Oh. There's a rolling bomb mid. Oh, he splits them. Oh, maybe? Oh, maybe. this could be... Oh. oh. I don't know why he went into the corner there. Yeah, he could have come in for a cap. Yeah, he like ran into the corner. He should have gone straight down for it. Narrowly missed snap there by a new friend. That rolling bomb is still there. Yeah, maybe even Sandy could pick it up as well. He and does. Up his second it's gone. Bomb. Oh, he, <laughs> he managed to get a kill with it though. <laughs> oh, he's killed Parker. If Tism can get the return here on Strange Crowd rather quickly, we could see a cap. No, Arcane gets there to shut that down. Oh, Ooh, this could be a cap. This could be a cap. This could be a cap. No. Oh, See that I think um, the communication really needs to be there to tell Tism to go uh, to go hard, and that kind of was lacking in a few games that I saw, including my own. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Dope Sayo pulling off some jukes. Using them walls and corn as well. Yeah. He runs straight into the new friend spawn. Unfortunate. Speaking of which, uh, Dope Sayo recently, I believe, won the grand final for Hexball. That's interesting. He did. He beat my team. Like, he destroyed us. It was really sad. Oh. Our rest in peace, Max, is Hexball team. Yeah. I mean, I tried to carry. I really did. As we see Vin's sanity just pulling through. Oh, Arcane, though. Arcane, of course, part of that Spikadelic Death Cabs minus side, who was just ridiculously stacked. All of them being drafted higher in the second, se in the third season. Yep, so stacked that their offense was vac, defense was Bruce and Arcane. Me and TJ were the subs for the team. We did play a lot, but um, yeah, we won the Premier Bowl quite convincingly. Hashtag Glowed Alert. Anyway, we see Parked. We see Parker running around. He's kind of just trying to do circles, trying to see if we can. Uh, he can come in here. Maybe he can if he hits the bomb. Oh, Ooh. Insanity just gets away. His new friend comes in with a nice snipe. There is, of course, that. There's that tag, bro. Top. Don't say we'll pick it up with Flag Pro. He's only got Tism to beat. Arcane and Strange Glide coming in with the blocks. Let's see if he can get through the return. Yes, that is. That's another one for Dope Sayer. Oh, yeah. Dope Sayer with both of the cap. Uh, as we see new friend with the Jig Juice coming on offense with Vinsanity. Vinsanity goes with a good grab off the boost, almost dying there. He goes right past Strange Cloud. He's ahead of two. If they can get the kill on Dope Sayo, he might be able to use the button. We're not no. seeing a lot of hold here. Um, no, it seems very aggressive in the way that they're grabbing and running straight for the base. No, um, Dope Sayo's just got above two minutes, but he's the only one. The Vexilla Files have three players above a minute, though. Finn Sanity pulling off a pretty good juke there to just boost straight past two of their players. And he boosts again. Oh, this could come to something nice. It could. If he can use the button effectively... Oh, he, he does. does. Oh, this is This a could cat. be a block. This could be I'm a block. Calling it. I'm He's... calling it. Oh, no. Parker with a clutch grab. What a play. Nice job, Parker. Oh, Call no. He dies, wrong. though. Oh, oh, this could be a cat. They've got it's a two on two, not counting the flag carry. He's now coming in. He's gone a short period of time though. Arcane has obviously got that uh, tag prime rolling bomb combination. Let's see yeah. if he can do anything with it. Could definitely be a counter cap here. Yeah. 
Counter Cap's really strong on this map, obviously, because of the lack of ways to get past, like, to get ahead of an offender who's already beaten the past most of the players. As we see, yeah. Dope Sayo outplayed Tism, a new friend. He hits the corner of that block, unfortunately, sending him to his death. Strange Cloud grabs the flag, goes top, chilling around the boot. What's he gonna do here? Ooh, a nice split. See, that's kind of the um the thing though. As a defender, you really don't want to take those boosts because oh, this could be it a just leaves. There's no one on Ray. Oh no, they get ahead. They get ahead of him. That's unfortunate. Yes, he caught himself on the block. New friend, however, could boost passing. Oh, <laughs> unlucky. That didn't happen in the spiking bees. Ah, uh, not quite. Anyway, we see Jake coming through. He's got two to beat. No, he's got three to beat now. Parker gets ahead of him. That should be four to beat. However, he can use this boost bomb. No, he's missed it. Dope say getting the return. Been sounded with the rolling bomb already. Hits the corner of the boost. And we see a good bomb by him. He beats he beats Parker there. Parker, however, comes back in front of him. Insanity with good the Jukes. Way. Insanity's beat two. If the blocks can come in, no. Ooh, well played by Arkham. I think that the uh, the Fifty Shades of Blue Balls offensive defense has been really strong this half, which has managed to shut out the uh, strong offense of Insanity and Jake. Yeah, zero caps from them. From a fairly strong offensive duo. Hmm. As we see, Vinsanity may be coming in. No. Alright, Strange Cloud runs up. He's Three, got the flag. Two, okay, this he should just hold it one. till the end. Oh, he gets returned. And, uh, I think that scoreboard really says a lot. And we got Dope Sale up at the top. He, uh, he had a really good half there. With a really great hold time. Him and Vinsanity, really good hold times. Yeah, both getting two minutes. Vin with nearly three. Okay, so obviously it seemed to me that um, the problem for the Vexio files was that they just weren't giving themselves enough opportunities. Like, they were giving themselves opportunities to cap, but they just weren't being aggressive enough to take them. Like, they would circle back when there was two on two, when you should just try to go for the blocks and go in on that, especially on this map. Yeah, because if you go in on a two on two, and the two other players are often go out go scout for the player, giving you a chance to boost past them. Yeah. They're giving another two on two. As we find out that Tism's mic was not working. Oh, that would be unfortunate. Communication being such a huge part of this map, especially with all the elaborate bombs and boosts. Yeah, definitely. So... Uh, name. What do you think needs to be changed in the Vexio files to win the next half? Um, I think their defense needs to shore up a bit. They didn't really much through returns and such. Yeah, I definitely think that it's a hard decision for this captain. Like, it wouldn't be a hard decision if you were on the team because they'd just bench you. But, I mean, it is hard on this situation because all those players are quite good. Yeah, I was benched in the first half of my game. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not surprised. Did they? Did you manage to win that half? No, we lost that half. I mean, well, then there's nothing that can be done to save that game, really. Yeah, I got subbed on and we won, though. I mean, pure luck. And Obviously. communication. Pure luck and communication. Yep. But, um, it appears that Tism's mic is okay now. I think or it's all an elaborate ruse to get us to feel bad for them. So, um, Dope Sayo is sitting on two caps for the game. So, New Friend is Tism. out because Tism's mic is broken, but New Friend is giving... What? New Friend is, bo is letting Tism Len borrow his mic, but that means that New Friend's out. So, oh. one is in. One, obviously, a really strong player who really should be a minus, but did not sign up this season. Quoting new friend, it's very complicated. Yeah, that's 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 what we'll leave it at, I guess. So, I mean, 
It's going the way we pretty much thought it was. The uh, Fifty Shades of Blue Balls are winning it. But I definitely saw some things in the Vexio files, like the opportunities that they were giving themselves that definitely says to me that they could win this game quite easily. Yeah, they were getting into base a lot. It's just that the blocks weren't necessarily... Yeah, and it seemed, they would run into defenders. It seemed like their offenders did not believe in their blocks. So we we'll, see, sh- we'll see if... um. I think Three, that blue two, team or the Vexio Files should be able to get that tag promise when Sandy messes up. Yeah, tag pro top always leads to an interesting battle. When Sandy yeah. gets it easily. As he goes three here. offense, apparently. Vin grabs with the flag. Flag pro. The boost. Oh, that was a good play. Ooh. Almost. One's we see here. one. Nice, nice contained by the defense. Yeah, obviously Arcane coming in huge for blue balls, as we expected he would. Okay, we see what Dope Sayer can do at the other end. He manages to hit the bomb. Oh, almost worked out for them. It seems that Vinsanity has switched to the defensive side for this. Oh yeah, one is one of the best offenders on the whole of Diameter, so... Yeah, but one is also known for good defense as well. Yeah. I guess it could go either way. But they must have thought that they needed the cap switch, which... Oh! Dope Sayo making a mistake on that uh, tag pro, leading to one and Vincenti both getting... A return is cap. Oh, this oh, is... Oh, Jake. Certainly a cap. Oh, or the Strange. Can he dodge it? Can he nah. dodge it? Strange is going to grab Tism. Jake, please. Take the boost, son. Oh, my God. That was almost as bad as me being ahead of four and boosting straight into the wall. Yeah, I did hear about that, Max. Yeah, well, then I split vexation. So, you know, I'm pretty happy. All around crappy performance by the Cap 22s. As we see Dope Sayo run away, he's only got one ahead of him. Can they shut him down with a snipe? Arcane runs at him. It is one who is very crafty and manages to stay alive. As he, we might see him get out here. Dope Sayer runs him down, he does. It amazes me how good Dope Sayer is, it is at this game with very little experience. Oh, Jake, Jake, Jake. Caps. Oh, Jake. Jake this time, not messing it up. But... Well, I mean, there was no boost, so. Yeah. As we see Parker just avoid that tag pro completely for Strange Cloud. Vin boosting into that spike. Strange Cloud, nice bomb. <laughs> Strange Cloud played that almost perfectly. Dope Sayo with the flaccid. A big reset here. Yeah, you don't get him that often on gamepad. Oh, no. that was pretty solid uh, bomb coordination. However, it just didn't work out for them. Dope, Dope Sayo's ahead of two. I feel like that's a phrase that the commentators are going to have to get used to saying a lot. Ooh, boost spawning at its finest. Parker going bottom into two. He gets past them both. Vincenti with a crafty bomb catches him. As Arcane runs... No, he's ahead of three. Jake is ahead of three. If they can get the return quite quickly here, it will be a cap. Vincenti boosts down. No, Dope Sayer holds on quite well. Ooh, quite. And he gets away too. He might even get that juke juice. Nope. okay, so it's just one ahead of him. Rolling bomb spawning in the middle. However, everyone abandoning the chase, it seems, to get to get our power-ups that weren't even there. It sits at 2-1, 6 minutes 30 left in the s- lead by the 50 shades of blue balls. Definitely either, play, either team's game at this moment. Yep, the Vexilla files are getting their chances. Though this half, but, um, with one on offense as well, it'll be closer. Yeah, I mean, they're, like, if you really think about it, like, it looks really close, but the one cap that they did get was just a mis- uh, mistake of positioning by the Fifty Shades of Blue Balls, in which he just ran into a, an, an open cap, really. He was ahead of four instantly. Yeah, and like, it very easily could be 2 all right now, with this yeah, is Jake. It should be 2 all, but Jake, like, he missed out on that boost, which is unfortunate, but... yeah. Strange card have a wall. <laughs> he misses the boost. Boost into that wall. And one and Insanity both having rolling bombs. Let's see what they do with this. Can he, one go down? He chooses not to go for the grab. One decides to use his rolling bomb, killing his own teammate. 
but he grabs and he flaccids. Here we go, Strange Cloud. Strange Cloud coming in like a hero here. Let's see if he can juke out two of them. Oh, oh. almost. This he is Jacob. almost got that three, split. Though. He messes that up wall. the boost. Let's the see if it boosts into the wall. Oh, misses it. The pressure just gets to you, man. You just miss up those boosts that you haven't messed up in ages. It just yeah, sucks. I yeah, I definitely boosted in. Oh, the Vince insanity. Perfect. Right. I think, it. I think one on offense should be a uh, a permanent thing now. Yep. Oh, this could be another cap here. Oh, it is too. This is another cap. They've taken the oh, lead. Oh, well played. Well played. Yeah. But let's oh not forget goodness. it could easily be four two, and that it, would be even harder. Be. And Parrot's now spawning. Parrot's spawning. One's gonna track around and grab that juke juice. You can use this with three players not in the base. Oh, dope say it goes back to that often. Arcane's earning him very well, but Strange Cloud just couldn't pull the trigger there. I don't know why. They do have a tag pro in their base, making it very difficult to cap one. Saying my bad in chat. Jake boosts himself back into Parker's sniping distance. Parker misses, however. Jake manages to pull off the juke, the stop start. He's going to get caught here, though. No, he backtracks all the way. We'll see if Parker can pick him off. No, he's dodged it. Parker will line up the smite, though, and he's got to run past Arcane. He manages to backtrack up to the top side, however. Now they've got an effective zone on him. They should get him, and Arcane does. Strange cloud boosting ahead of three. A return is a cap here. A return is... One manages to get to the kiss. kiss. That was a good choice by one. Yep. As we see Dope Sayo line up. Whoa! One picks him one. out of the air. Parker coming in flag pro. Only one oh, to beat. One. Coming in huge. Ooh, Parker. Parker has left the team. We oh. might sing a here, folks. Yep, Pear, Pear comes in. Pear has joined the Shades of Blue Balls team. Let's see if we can make a difference. Awesome. He doesn't need to make a difference. Oh no, wait, no mind. Wrong team I was yeah, thinking about. Yep. He definitely needs one. to make a difference. Pear is um Pear is doing very well for himself. Five caps in twenty minutes. Dope say game. Can Dope Sayo be the hero for the fifty shades of blue balls team? No, he gets boosted in the spike, that's unfortunate for him. This is getting a bit of a dire situation here. Only less than down obviously, by one. Obviously, with quite a few of the old maps, it is harder for some of the newer players to um play some of these maps because they just don't have the muscle memory. Strange Cloud narrowly missing out on that just freshly spawned tower. Uh... One holds onto it. He's in the chase. He's oh, running into the mall. Three, and if they can return. He can use his rock. Now, now, now. Oh, no. He gets picked out of the air. By Pear. Dope Sayo's going top. Good boost by Vincent. Oh. He. We got Jake here. He's going top. He should be cut off by Arcane. He is. Arcane's such a good player. Yeah, he's definitely shining. As he but, has season two, he just destroyed with Majestic Moose. Yeah, that's definitely like the top defensive pairing in the minor leagues season. Yeah, last season, I guess. And we see Dope Sayo try to juke out Jake. He should. Vincenti picks up that tag pro top, freshly spawned in front of him. He go, oh, Dope Sayo catches a break with that rolling bomb. He might Ooh. be able to do this. He this could very be a cat. He, yeah, he should will do this. Be, oh no! This will be no, absolutely nothing. As one tells him in team chat, that he's gonna kiss if he can. Dope Sayo is still alive. Let's see if he can beat Tism. Then Jake one boosts at him. He dodges him. He's going mid. He's got to be the hero for the team here. It's pretty much oh, all on Dope Sayo's shoulder. Vin dodging around those spikes. Very. It doesn't look like they're going to get a return here. And with one minute left, the situation is getting too bad. Yeah, it is. It's it's not looking good for the uh, Fifty Shades of Blue Balls who led and looked like they were so strong in the first half. And then uh, we found out there were some spike problems. We had a change for one. 
And it looks like they might even pick up another cap here in this pack and hold on. He does, he beats two. Yeah, this could be a cap. Oh no. I mean, if Dope Sayo can just snipe one really quickly. No, nah, I guess not. Nice. Well done by one choosing to kiss there. Unless we can see Strange Cloud pull off something miraculous, this will be the end. Ten seconds. He might, he might, oh. he might. He's going oh. to, he's going oh. to. Oh my oh. god. Strange Cloud. Brilliant. That's going to be the Strange equalizer. Cloud. Strange Cloud well is the played. hero. Well played, Strange Cloud. Oh my god, well can played. we get. Can we get. Oh my god. The final score being 3 all. It's managed to be. I just don't believe it. Like, Strange Cloud. He just came up huge. Yeah. Oh, like, oh my looking god. Back, if Jake had have taken that boost, Axel Flowers win. Yeah, I think that. Um, I feel like he. It was a bit hard for him because he may not have known if it was up at the time that he needed to change the uh, the direction of his boosting. Yep. Like, he may have not have known, which in which case would have killed him if the boost had not been there. So I feel like he made the right decision, like, 99% of the time. Coming in from mid, it's definitely hit, because if you hit that, it will get you returned 100% of the time. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of failed boosts. That could have been uh, good opportunities. But uh, if we can get, um, if we can get probably, who do you reckon, like, Strange Dope Sayo, Cloud. Strange Cloud, and then maybe Jake, Jake or one. Okay, we've got one here. So, one, after coming into the game, you made a huge impact. Um, what do you attribute that to? He's not talking, but I'll read out his answers for you. Oh no, okay, we'll get... We'll get Strange Cloud to talk to Fifty Shades. Yeah, what's up? Hey, Strange Cloud. So obviously, you came in huge with that cap at the end. Like, what was what was the communication like as you came in? Uh, we're all panicking, freaking the hell out. Um, we played so badly in that second half. They played well, but we played really badly. Um, so I'm just happy to get a draw out of that, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, you guys seemed to like really fall apart once one came in. He just kind of started wrecking. Yeah, he played well. Um, but I don't know if it was necessarily him or just a lack of, I don't know, smart Competence. By us. Yeah, well, I guess we'll say competence. <laughs> we didn't exactly play that well in the second half. <laughs> um, what do you like? What do you think fell apart in the second half? Was it just your communication? Was it individuals? It was a bit of everything. I think just kind of some things we did and it was just not the right thing. Um, like just a few decisions we didn't take right and it cost us in the end, that's for sure. We were lucky to scrape a draw and I kind of feel bad for taking a draw off, off them, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was the cause behind the Parker for... Uh, lag. There was definitely lag. Parker was complaining about it for... A couple of minutes before, I think he was. I think we're going to blame Rock for that. Um, yeah, but yeah, it was it was lag for that. You heard it first, folks. Rock is ddosing Parker. <laughs> of course. Do we have anyone from the Vexio files here? Yeah, we have Vinsanity. Uh, Vinsanity. Vinsanity, you played really well, man. Like, your offense was really good. Like, you played offense, like, really aggressive, trying to get out of base and uh, get the caps when you need to. Also, holding back and staying alive when you need to. Was that just good, good communication or good game sense from you? Um, yeah, good communication. The defenders told me, always told me how many were in base, and I tried to use the bombs to get caps and stuff, but unfortunately, I didn't get too many. Yeah, it was it was a good showing by you guys in the second half. Like, how influential was one on offense? Do you think in the second half? Oh, really good because him holding the flag, he he can just hold it for however long, however he wants really. So that helped us like set up on defense and call out where the defense offensive defense was and help yeah. him score. So, obviously, you guys, uh, you went on defense for one on offense. Whose decision was that? Was that the captains, both of you mutually ones who decided that? Yeah, um, Phoenix was 
wanted to see how he went in the first half, and if things weren't going too well, he wanted another player who could play both offense and defense in this side, so we could just rotate if needed. Yeah, really good decision there by well. Benetics. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's why he's a captain. Yeah, we saw um, we saw Jake miss that boost, which could have been like all. It could have changed it all. You guys could have won. He was so gutted. He's was so it gutted. like a lack of communication, or just like what happened? Uh, I don't know. I just I just heard him groan when it, I heard of the pot. So I don't know what happened there. Yeah, like we we were talking about how um, like that could have been the game changer. Like he would have won. No. Oh. Bloody stranger to come in with the last second cap too. Yeah, we were <laughs> we were yelling. It was really it was really good finish. Yeah, uh, it, was good, anything, it was a good game. Anything else from you, name? Um, it was a really well played game by both teams. Both of them well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's pretty much the same for me, guys. It was hard fought. Uh, really good till the end. Um, I'd like to thank both teams, the streamer, and uh, my fellow commentator, Name. I look forward to commentating other games with you in the future. As I do.